The House of Representatives in America have officially voted to impeach Joe Biden's Homeland Security Secretary. This comes as a massive warning and signal to the American establishment that people in the United States have had enough. Now, as you guys know, this is the situation with the, the southern border in America, especially when it comes to Texas, but actually this also applies to the Californian border and many other places as well, is it getting worse and worse. And Joe Biden's government have completely lost control. And now we have a Secretary Mayorkas who has now been officially uh, well voted against and impeached by the House of Representatives. And let's have a look at the numbers because it's not looking too good, is it? Considering the, how divided even the House of Representatives is. So actually, the numbers quite tight. 214 uh, voted uh, uh, to impeach uh, Mayorkas against, of course, uh, 213. There were also three Republicans who voted no and no Democrats voted yes. Hmm. Now, this was a second attempt when it comes to impeachment because the first attempt, obviously, uh, last week didn't go too well. But the issue with that is that Joe Biden's White House didn't really take the, learn any lessons. They continued to be arrogant. And now this happened. Yes, obviously, the Department of Homeland Security released a statement on the original failed impeachment vote of May Rokas, saying this baseless impeachment should never have moved forward. It faces bipartisan opposition and legal experts uh, resoundingly say it is unconstitutional. If House Republicans are serious about border security, they should abandon these political games and instead support the bipartisan national security agreement in the Senate to get the DHS the enforcement resources we need. Secretary Mayorkas remains focused on working across the aisle to promote real solutions at the border and keep our country safe. Keep our country safe. Are you kidding me? Every single the terrible disaster has been happening under Joe Biden's government, under Barack Obama's government and all the other liberal globalists. And they say, no, we want to look after the people. Now, Joe Biden's government also say you have to support our bipartisan agreement. So they, they tried to do this trick where they went to Senate and everything else saying we have a borders bill. Right. And then they combined it with the financial aid package to Ukraine and other places thought they could basically sell everything at the same time. Joe Biden believes that $95 billion aid bill will pass in the House. Joe Biden said, There is no question that if our bipartisan national security bill was put to a vote in the House, it will pass. Hmm, not sure about that. The Speaker knows it. I call on him to let the full House speak its mind, not allow a minority of extreme voices to block this bill from even being voted on. A minority of extreme voices. Uh, clearly, well, the House is divided. We know that. It's basically split. But there's a bit of a majority against Joe Biden. So that's not really a minority expressing extreme voices, is it? Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.